Hello everyone, let's get going today. So how's everyone doing? I'm just going to turn the music down again. Back down to three, that should do the job, right? Uh, so hello small who man, I'm on time, yes, finally you're on time. You guys enjoying my quarantine beard? It's getting even longer every day. And since we're doing streams every day, I kind of need to mention it. Every day that passes, it gets a bit... A bit more brutal. I'm going to have a God of War beer. That's what I'm aiming for. A ginger God of War beer. Beard. Call it my quarantine fur. Hello Isaac Clyde. Ayo. Uh, opening on a great song. Oh yes, very catchy isn't it? I'm first as always. Well, I don't know. Small, small Who Man was kind of here. I don't know. Uh, hey Alpha Werewolf, welcome back. Jinkies Gaming, nice to see you again. If you want to join in the, the chat, feel free. Uh, Maddie's Edits, hello, welcome back. Hope you're having a great week. Fellow gamers, yeah. So this song is oddly nostalgic. Yeah, as it kind of is, like, it reminds you of all the good times, doesn't it? I like to imagine the LBA starts the stream, then quickly runs off to let the music play, then comes back. I do, I literally just, oh, start, I wait, come back. Nah, because I've got like my my phone and things charged into the wall so usually I just like tweet and get the, the the chat up and stuff like that rather than me just like sitting here like you know like that the whole time I think it's better because I know if you if you properly stream from a PC you can actually create like a, a screen that normally says like stream starting blah 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 sometimes I have time to make it sometimes I don't so if I don't have time I usually just find a little frame here and uh, start the music whilst I get things sorted or he hides behind the cat. I do. I hide. And I'm, I mock you all. Uh, good mate. Nice. Uh, this song is extremely no nostalgic, by the way, because the original is nostalgic AF. Oh, yeah. I shaved my beard because it's annoying, but I'll keep my long AF metal hair. Metal head hair. Oh, God. You should, you should join me. We need to become a pair of beard growers. See who can grow the, long the longest beard. I didn't know it had an original. The original was um, a 2011 LP2 track by Velvet. Uh, the current one. Uh, okay. The second one. Okay, we have the fire bookmark in the survival horror. What's this going, one going to be? Well, uh, this is we're just going to do stage two now of the, the little platformer game we made. So yesterday we, uh, we continued uh, the second half of the first stage. Got some enemies. A light sort of platform section here. I'll fill out this bottom part later so that it actually does, you know, stand on the ground. Uh, so you, you have to find like three sheep. So there was like a sheep, I think. I don't know if I put it there. Uh, yeah, I did. So there's a sheep here. Because we need all the sheep for the, the little side quest. So there's a sheep there, a sheep here. And then as we go across the. We get to like a waterfall area and we can sort of jump across it. Find the last sheep. And that should give us enough. Uh, I need to put another book here, and that'll activate this, so the the waterfall will obviously disappear. And we can continue to stage two. So I'm going to have to reset this just for a second, <clears throat> so that I can just do a a remix. So we can call this stage two. And it's going to use like mostly the same assets. It's not like a completely different um, level. It's pretty much the same. The only difference is that it has a different uh, layout. So let me just, I think we're mostly using a lot of the same assets. So I think I'll start creating on this side of the grass because it's like, it's a bit bigger. So, oh God, I killed the character. <laughs> Sorry, come here. They're gonna go over here today. So the idea for the, the second stage is that it's gonna be slightly, um, slightly wider than this one. So and it's gonna be more uh, vertical, so as we're gonna climb, sort of like a, a mountain or a cliff. So every every level, it's gonna be like so this this area split into like two sections basically. And then the this section is going to be split into three three layers. So I had an idea that the, the the side mission for this one there's going to be like these evil moles. And uh, oh god, I just blew something up there. We square. I don't know what I did. Um, 
So I'll get, I'll get rid of the stuff that we don't actually we don't actually need. Just to make things a bit easier. I think that was like all the apples and stuff. Do you like my crunch? My crunch sound effect. Since we're using a lot of the same assets, we probably don't really need to delete too much. Okay. So move this over here. So in this level there will be no sheep. Instead what we'll be doing for this, the side mission in this uh, level, will basically to defend some like crops or something like that. So um, they're they're under attack from the, the evil mole people. And there's, there's going to be slimes in this level and, and I'm going to add some bees, but I'm also going to use the, the moles as well. So we got a uh, sloppy dew. Let me see if I can find this. Do you like my zombie characters? Yeah. We... I don't know if I can find it here, I think. Let me see. Because he, he actually created it. Yeah, here it's here. He's got the, the evil mole. Don't know if I can place this down. Hold on. Get the slowdown. This is what your music causes me, Isaac. Your music is destroying my gameplay. I think I'm going to have to delete some of it for now because I think... Uh, I can always bring it back later. I think like we need to get rid of some stuff because that's like over 20% thermal on like three tracks. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. They had a, they had a good run. So oh, I need to go find this again. Hold on. Where is it? Here. Right. So basically, he sculpted uh, these moles. So this is, this was the first one he sculpted. It's got like a little. Uh, <laughs> a little design around it, like it's wearing some kind of clothing. It looks quite cool. Uh, this was the second one he made, and this was obviously without the, the clothing. So I was thinking, like, this could be like the, the little minion moles. This could be like a sort of general mole. And then this one, he's like the king mole. <laughs> Big king mole. And uh, I'm going to put like a crown on him. I love crowns, like, um, Super Alien Buddy had a, a king. So we need a king for this one. So that's the, going to be like the basis for the, the enemies in this level. And he'll be the boss for the for for the next level. So I just need to... Oh, I just need to delete the, the stuff that I don't need. Uh, so we, we just need the... The general and the minions, I think. Just fire these guys down here for now. I just delete all that stuff. It's got a lot of blocks here. There we go. So they're they're going to be. Um, you can only f fight them on the for the side mission, but not so the other the other enemies will be literally the bees. So let me get a let me get a bee, and then we'll get the the slimes as well. So that'll be like the idea for most of the the enemies here. And I'll take this as well because I'm gonna use this. At some point. Right, so everything everything's sort of here. Okay. And obviously I'll I'll take the the apples. I really should put the sound effect inside here. I don't know why I left it outside. Maybe I made it in a rush or something. That's basically everything we need, really, to make the rest of this level. I'll try and keep everything kind of the same, so people get a bit familiar with it. Uh, I already had a long beard, but it got out of existence. <laughs> you should just keep growing it, just see how far you can take it. Be the black metal Santa Claus. Maybe I have heard it. it. Explains the nostalgia. Could be. I mean, I was just thinking. It sounds like the kind of track you would use for something nostalgic. I think you're two times as likely to get corona if you have facial hair. Who, who cares, man? I'm, I'm indoors anyway. I ain't getting it. I promise. Just don't pass it to me in the stream. We're good. 
By the way, I found a really cool level LBA. I'll send it to you. Don't know if you'll do a play stream this week, but oh well. I probably will. Probably won't change anything until next week. So I think this Saturday I'll still do a play stream, but I'm going to make it more of a a moderated play stream. So normally I don't play anything until Saturday, so everything's kind of like a surprise. But I kind of want to make sure that I can see if there's any copyright music in the dream first. I'm not going to know about every track, like some tracks I might not know about, but I'll just test some things, like just to test like the first like 30 seconds of the, 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 the game so that it's more controlled. Because I do want to still do streams where I play Dreams levels, I just don't want to um, get caught out one day with the copyright, that's all. If anyone puts any illegal music. Hello Reckley, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Great work on your, your progress. Rick Breckley sent me a, a screenshot of one of the, the environments he's making for his next game. It looks it looks very similar in design and style to his uh, previous horror level, so uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's some kind of sequel, but it looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, pretty decent, been making good progress once again. No Nered, oh so it's gone, it's gone. For now, once I can like shape everything again, maybe I'll bring it back. Hello Amanda Meyer, welcome back. Hope you're continuing to have a great week. I'm glad you're in the flow, man. Yeah, it's good. Once you get in the flow, don't stop. The first mole's nose looks... What, this one? Do you like his nose? Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I mean, it's not suggestive at all. <laughs> if you see something from that nose, that's your problem, not mine. Right? That's your problem. Uh... Hey King Kadinko, uh, make some music <sighs> one day, uh, one day. Uh, today we're just going to do the, the level design for the next part of the level. I kind of want to get this game finished because this is like Super Alien Buddy and this game were both meant to be early access games and I just never got around to finishing them so I really need to get this done so that it's out of the way and I can actually focus on things that I've planned beyond early access, you know. No way, Nightmare Grand. No way, Small Who Man. Not a chance. I think if I try and make music, it would be an absolute disaster. So I think we should probably try and avoid that scenario for now, don't, don't you think? Don't you think it's a bit too extreme? Right, let me just take a few of these here. Do, 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 do. Right. So the idea I've got for this is like you'll have like a kind of like a corridor like that, but then there's a bit when you climb up and you can kind of go into like this canyon sort of area. And the idea I had was that one of the moles would come and steal your hammer, and then you have to run through the area and avoid the enemies so you can't attack them. And then you have to make yourself your way up the canyon, go across, find the mole, and then get your hammer back. So it's like an extra little gameplay diversion as well as the the moles that you need to that you need to tackle in the in the wee crop field so, so someone asked for a, a cow i'll need to get a cow at some point and uh i'll probably delete this one for now because i don't i don't need these sheep anymore but everything else i think i more or less i more or less need so let me try and uh, let me try and shape this for now, right? right? I'll just make this as long as I possibly can. And the canyon's going to be like, let's imagine we need to go. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. All my assets are getting in the way. Right, so say the canyon is like here, so we need to create something that's kind of going up a little bit. I mean I could maybe just like, I'm assuming like she can probably jump that no problem. Maybe make it like that, like halfway, and then she can jump to there, and then we can sort of continue this 
along this way and then as she gets to about I don't know like here maybe she has to go jump down maybe so let me see I don't know why I like block the camera so I might change some of this later depending on how it goes so I'm going to try and have like a dynamic camera that always uh, rotates so as you jump up here once you get to here you know the camera will, the camera will normally be like this but because this is blocking your view when you get here maybe I'll just like do that or something and then once you jump down it will go back to normal I guess we'll see how the camera goes I don't want to like make a pure glitchy camera uh, or I could just put some rocks here or something that's less that's more transparent so uh, just try to flesh out this little area here I feel like I did something wrong there Right, so the, um, there's going to be like another little corridor uh, down this side as well. So to avoid myself like blowing up this level, I think it's probably wise to just copy like two at a time. And then that way I'm not going to blow up the level. Just keep that going. So you come down, there's like another corridor here, but then it branches off into this side here and there's going to be like a little, not a secret area, but a little area here where you can fight some enemies. Uh, yes Isaac, yes small human, I will make music in this stream, is what I heard honestly. Not a chance, what a wasted stream that would be. I'd make no progress, it would just be pointless, don't you think? No, no, I don't think so. Maybe one day, once I get better at making music, maybe it would make more sense. By the way, LB, I completed my first cutscene today of my creepy ending. It's short, but interesting. Ooh. It's good that you're, you're making some progress on it. I'll need to check it out. Uh, that hazard symbol is giving me a mental pain. That's Isaac's music, I'm telling you. That's all Isaac's music. I'm blaming Isaac for everything. It just shows you how uh, intense of a level we're making. I just don't want to... Uh, I just don't want to uh, just reduce the detail yet. Because I want to... Um, I want to uh, see how much I can do without actually doing that. Let's blend these all together. So you're going to come down here and then there's going to be like a little, maybe like a little area in here maybe. That you can sort of climb into. And then there's going to be these wee guys. It's going to be another um, little combat area. I'm going to try and finish this stage as quickly as I can, to be honest. Um, let's put it like that. I don't want to make the area too huge. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try and like finish as much as this I can today. So that next week we can finish off area 2, stage 2, and the area for the boss battle. And then off stream I might try and uh, do some of the animations and get some of the gameplay working. So I'll show some of the, the proper gameplay. Probably by next Wednesday we can start to go through the scenes. And then all that's left is for me to get the voice acting done and, you know, do the little cutscenes and animate all the environments. So I'll probably do that off stream. Which means uh, in two weeks time we can probably make a start on Super Alien Buddy 2. Start creating the environments there. So. You'll probably only see this project again uh, next week, and that'll be your last chance uh, until it until it releases. Because I don't want I don't want to spoil too much. I want to keep some of it a secret. Oh God, it's at times two. Oh yeah, better believe it. 
Uh, it would be fun, LBA. Don't have to make progress. Why? Why don't I have to make progress? I'm going to have a, a disaster on my hands if if that's the case. Right, we're done. Oh, I'm out of sculpt memory. I blame Isaac. His musical sculpts. Right, let me see how uh, how detailed some of this stuff is. Because I literally haven't even gone into this section yet. This bee has a big red face. We, we, we can't be having that. We've got to, like... Got to make him more efficient. There you go. Looks nice. Nice little blue bee. Very innocent. Same with our main character. Uh, she can probably do with a bit of a, a scrub down. Really detailed ears. But like I always say, this is my, this is my favourite part. Just reducing all the detail. So good. So, so good. Right, my slimes. Who knew these slimes would be such high thermal? I wasn't expecting it. Same with this cage. It's not, it's not really that detailed, is it? Normally with like cages, you can't reduce the detail too much because they, they, they'll get too thin and then they'll kind of lose their, their appearance, you know? So I think we're, as long as this stuff doesn't look too ugly, I think we'll be alright. Just take some of the stuff off the rocks. It kind of has a weird Dragon Ball Z feel like in this mode because it's like all purple and blue and stuff. It looks actually quite cool. Everything's like a sea, it's like an ocean. Let me just bring the, the big blocks down a little bit. It's like, what the hell was that noise? Is that witty and his mad vocals? Right, I think we're... I think we're alright. Obviously I'm going to delete all this crap over here. Because it's all this stuff that I'm not really going to use, but just in case I use it later, I may just keep it for now, you know? So we'll leave it like that for just now, and hopefully now I can actually, can I stretch this out a little bit? Does it let me? I don't think it lets me, does it? Nah, I don't think it lets me. Let me see. Kind of, kind of. It's weird though, sometimes it stretches, sometimes it, it doesn't. Because of the grid, or I don't know, it's weird. See, like sometimes it stretches, and then other times not so much. Right, 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 right. I think we've lost our little guys here. I don't even know if I can select them anymore. Hold on. Let me. Improvise here. Come on, you guys. Got to get out of there. I hate trying to select that when it's moving. Oh my god. Oh god, it's because I still had the, the floor selected. I can probably, like, group the. The note saves me selecting all, all the thing. Now bring this back up. I'll do for now. So that'll be like a little area in here. Uh, we need to defeat the slimes. I don't know. Maybe I'll do just a collection of like apples, or maybe like a secret area or something over there. Let me get the. Maybe there's something down here. We never know, right? Need to break them all to get 
find what, what the hell was going on behind there. Uh, over this side I was planning on sort of introducing you to like a little uh, crop field. So let me just create a little more space here. Let's see if we can find some some crops. Uh, it's crazy, Isaac makes a timeline that's 99% music thermal and when I make a song it sounds just as good but I use like 1% music. Yeah, I'm the same, like my, my tracks, <laughs> they use like, I don't know, like 6% maybe? But they're not that complicated, they're more straightforward. Because I think Isaac uses like two halves of the timeline, it's crazy. I'm going to work on my project tomorrow. Is this the medieval project? That sounds quite good. Be nice to see how that goes. Uh, hey LBA, what's that under your nose? Of course, you know what's under my nose. Come on, you know. A big bush, ginger bush. It shows you it's authentic. It's like ID to prove that I am indeed Scottish. I'm not just like, uh, I'm not just fake news and pretending. It's it's authentic. And a mustache. Uh, how long are you growing that beard? How long am I going to grow it for? Until the quarantine's over. I think it's fun. So every stream, we just see it grow and grow and grow until like the whole screen just becomes a big beard. Hey Troxky, welcome to the stream. LBA, I have as much of a beard as you and I'm 14. Well, <laughs> if I can compare myself to a 14 year old then, I think I'm doing alright. But I'll, we can challenge each other and, and see who can... Uh, we can see who can who can go go the grow to the the maximum. Uh, that was a good one, LBA about witty. Oh yeah, I mean it just just came to me because it's true, sad but true. My project is going to be called War of the Kings. Oh, what kind of gameplay do you plan to do that? Uh, sounds interesting, Amanda. Uh, what kind of game is it going to be? Oh, same question. Yeah, I've actually drawn the characters and planned out the game. It's going to be based on medieval times. So is it going to be like an RPG game, I assume? Ada's a little ginger. Oh. Who did she get that from? What side? Does your music really sound as good as mine, Small? Oh, you're getting trolled. Uh, his beard is real Egyptian silk. Oh, yes. As smooth as you like. My mum's side. Oh well. See, like I, I, I have like brown hair, but my beard is ginger. Like when it's short, it's brown, but like when it grows, it becomes ginger. So I'm like half and half. You know, nice contrast. I'm gonna work on characters first, then levels later. Yeah, it's a good idea. Try and get your your combat and stuff sorted. I have ginger cousins. Oh. Of the ginger. Uh, why, yes, it does. I'll have you know, Isaac. I don't think it will stay ginger. It's like brown. When the sun hits, it's gingery. Yeah. Sun does make it a bit more ginger. Isaac. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe he spelt your name wrong on purpose, you know, like he does with everything else. Bovaretta. Uh, yes, it's going to be an RPG. All good. I like a good RPG. Turn based, action based. And okay, show me what you got then. Also, now we've got an Isaac and a small Who Man audio challenge. I'll be interested to see how that goes. Right, can we find crops? Oh, this is my creations, I don't make crops. Texture mapping. I guess that's quite good if anybody needs any, any, uh, any textures. This might be a good little collection, although it's a bit weird, I don't know what the hell that is. Metal Man? Is that meant to be Isaac? On Halloween? Right, I'm trying to find crops, but I, I normally don't write plurals because... Sandwich. Ah, there we go. Wheat. Farming crops with wind. Right, I'll put in plural, see what comes up. There's like a collection. I think that's it. 
I guess we can just fire it down for now, right? And then uh, we'll just go over the floor, right? The hell? Why is it so off the grid? What the hell? Who the hell made this? Is this you, Isaac? Right, hold on, I need to fix this. Right, so I'm just going to put like the crops. Sort of like here, I guess. And then we'll have like <laughs> we'll have the the moles. They'll be like trying to destroy it. I don't know if I should put like um unaccurate things, like just put like pumpkins inside, you know, just for fun. Even though it's not a pumpkin patch, it's just um it's just an excuse to put more stuff that we can maybe break. So maybe I'll make it like quite a big sort of area. Do, 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 do. Can we find some pumpkins? And we, we have to have a scarecrow. That much is obvious. We'll just take like a... The first pumpkin we find. And it means like, we, we could destroy the rocks, but now we can also destroy the the pumpkins. There you go. You want to destroy some pumpkins? Be my guest. It's all yours. Just fire a few here and there. And then uh, I'll put the... I'll put the, the scarecrow, like, in the middle, maybe. If, if I'm, just, I'm assuming someone's made a scarecrow. <laughs> That's quite good, it's quite cartoony. I think that might fit quite well. We've also got this one, which again is quite cartoony. Um, so we've got that one. We've got this one. This one's a little too realistic. We've got some other kind of realistic ones. I thought he was like, someone hanged him. It's horrible. Got this one, <clears throat> which is a bit crazy as well. <clears throat> it reminds me of uh, Tearaway. Oh, we've got the, the Batman ones as well. Can't use those though, they're too creepy. Is that a nemesis? It's like a Freddy Krueger nemesis scarecrow. Lovely. Right, I think I'll use the... I think I'll use this one. This one looks alright. And then we'll just put him kind of in the middle there. And then the damn moles, the mole people. They're, they're, oh, hold on, I need to um, separate them. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to push you over there. Sorry about that. So I'm going to use these moles for the... I'll need to make this... I'll need to actually... I think it's physical. Oh, let me see. I think I'll need to... Take off the, the collisions, maybe. There. Yeah. Take off the collision so we just walk through it like like grass and then put uh, a couple of these wee guys around the place let me take off that stupid grid so we'll fire a few of these here and there big mole people they just love their, they love their pumpkin patches. Okay, I think that looks all right. Maybe I'll do it so like if you hit the scarecrow, he'll like spin round or something. I'll try and make everything interactive so when you hit the, the, the pumpkin, the rocks, you know, the scarecrow, everything always reacts. And like I said about the slimes, like when, depending on where you hit the slimes, they'll animate, like they'll sort of go to the left, right or down. 
same thing will happen with the moles. I think like they'll react like depending on the direction of the hammer swing, so that it's different every time. I think it'll look quite nice. So then I just need to put like a wee, a wee, a wee fence around here. I think. Listen to my track, Data Gunge Hex Fixers. What a name. I'm joking, that's an experimental one. I'll check it out. Better impress. My current songs are also experimental. Yeah, yeah, sure. Experimental, but you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. So that ain't no excuse. Darn. I hope the RNG in that game is good. I know, you need to have a good RNG. It's like, I hate it in, uh, if you ever played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I hate the, the fact that you need to, you find like new gear, like every two seconds. I feel like I'm in the menu more often than I'm in the, the, uh, the actual game itself. It's a pain. I need to stretch this a little bit more. I guess that's an alright kind of size for it, I suppose. I'll maybe move everything a bit over, closer to the, the wall maybe. Well how about different noises? That's a good one I made. Just random noises. Or it might become an action adventure if things don't go well. Yeah, just like, be flexible, see what you can do with your experience so far. Don't pressure yourself to make something too complicated because RPGs, you know, they can get quite um, quite complicated. Uh, those plumpkins look drab. Fire, fire, astic. Oh yes, they look perfect, don't they? I should name a song "Table" so when he searches for tables, my song will get free advertisement. Pretty much, tables, shelves, uh, chairs. That's what you'll get. Is the Scarecrow going to be alive? Maybe I could I could animate the Scarecrow, actually, yeah. Um, just be like, hey, hey, get off my patch or whatever. I think that'll be quite funny. Maybe the, the narrator can be like, and the Scarecrow suddenly had enough. He's like, he's like, get the hell out of my property. I'll name one of my songs Chair then. Chair, table, everything. Shelf. Make an anthology of furniture named... Uh, tracks. Uh, hey James Peterson, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great week. I'll name mine Hospital Bed. Yeah, gotta go have a hospital bed. Mine will be Morgue Severed Lip. Oh, never mind, don't want to get moderated. You should uh, call one that, you know, they, they, there's people that keep remixing these mattresses and they keep making them more and more disgusting every time. You could make a track and then, oh, God. And then like make it more and more disgusting as you go along and see how awful sounding it can get by the end. I think that might be a good experiment. If you if you want a proper experiment, go for something like that. Worth it. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey Smokey Miss Thank you, Miss. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good. Soothing music, yeah. I, lo I love the soundtrack for this um, for this stream. It's very different from the survival horror stream, you know. So we we do actually get to have a little bit of a uh, soothing fun, I guess. It's nice, isn't it though? Very therapeutic. I need to fix this fence. We can't have gaps in our fence. Right, where's the? Let's see where the entrance is going to be. Can we kind of need to go like? The scarecrow's not entirely in the middle. I've just noticed. I kind of want them to be roughly in the middle. So if you, that's the middle, let's make it like that. The entrance like that. Do, 
Do, do, do, do. Looks good to me so far. Do, 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 do. I might actually separate this area so it's like you don't see it right away. It's hidden behind uh, some of the some of the the mountains. So I might make it like this, like you start here and then you'll sort of come round here. And there's going to be another character, I don't know, maybe I'll make it a cow, I don't know. <laughs> the last one was like a raccoon or something, I don't know. Sorry for, I keep pushing him out of the way, I'm so sorry. I, you, you became the new puppet, haven't you? Yes, yes, I've become the new puppet, I know, I know. Me and my gigantic nose. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Just don't don't zoom too much. I'll get moderated. Just for the, the disclaimer, I did not make that at all. That was uh, that was someone else. Or I could just make a cliff here and then just put a fence. Maybe that's slightly more of an organic way to do it. I think. Just copy some of this fence over. I guess that's a good sort of space for you to navigate. Right, can we keep going with this one? Okay. And I'll probably like delete some of this. Make like a little gap here. Okay. I'll just like add a bit more to this here. And then, so you come here. Um, maybe I'll put some apples down the side here. Rather than moving this all the way over. You, you defeat the enemies. And there's going to be like at least two more of these patches around the, the stage. So you need to kind of kill as many as you can. So, once you come down here, there's going to be like a canyon area and there's going to be um, some more enemies. But we need to, we need to avoid them. Because the the wee mole is going to steal your hammer at this section. So I'll try and create like... We'll just say there's like a lot of different enemies here that you need to avoid. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use the tree stumps in this part. Let's see. Uh, the idea is you need to kind of like make your way across here avoid the enemies and then you need to like jump up maybe like here maybe delete some of that bring that down a bit so you need to jump up to get onto this sort of section here Maybe I could do like, um, I could use some of these, some of these rocks. And then we could maybe like, platform on these instead maybe. You know, so it's like, you, you make your way up by jumping on these. You know, something like that. I mean, do this like the opposite way around, actually. Do it like, like that. Uh, just an idea. Maybe make it like that. So you can jump up there. That'll take you up here. And then you're going to have to go around this area here, so let me just delete some of this stuff that we don't need. 
Oh, just don't delete the floor. That's never a good thing. Okay. Uh, so let me just fill out the rest of this area. So it's like you're going to come here. And then... Let me just oh, put the group back on. Then we're going to continue... Way. And then the, there's going to be a little section up here where I might make um, like a bridge. So I might make like, say there's like a bridge here. So once you get to here, you need to like jump up here. And then that'll take you all the way over to the, the end of this part, maybe. And maybe I could do like something like that, just to sort of give it some support. That'll do. Right, I'll do. Probably make a couple of these. This is my really big architectural skills coming in handy. So you'll jump down, uh, the guy, the, the mole will steal your hammer, you need to avoid all the enemies, you need to come up here. Again, avoid, avoid some enemies uh, as you make your way across here. Jump up here and the mole will be here basically. And um, you need to kick his ass basically to get your, your hammer back. Um, I think we'll just use I mean, maybe we could just use this one just to give it a bit more, a bit more variety. Sorry, did but you're you're coming this way. So we'll, we'll put him up there. That's where he where he ends up. So you beat him, or he runs away, drops the hammer, and then you can go back down, defeat everyone again, and uh, then you can continue where you need to go so I'm thinking like so that's how you get up to that section but maybe there's like um, like a section here and since you don't have your hammer you let me take this since you lost your hammer you can't pass through this section basically until you get your your hammer back so that'll block you from going the next area so you have no choice but to go up get your hammer come back down break this and then that'll take you to the next area uh, where there'll probably be a book which will um, take you up at an extra level and then you'll start to climb the start to climb the mountain or be like GD and call your song Elec... What? Elec Lecticitronica. Okay, sure thing. Uh, oh yeah, I saw that mattress's development. Yeah, it does look quite cool. We should do that with a song. I think that would be really nice to see the development of it. Uh, Nerid was also therapeutic. Well, not anymore, I'm afraid. How about... Oh my god. Elec Trekicitronica Tetrixitronica Tetrixitronica there you go, I said it perfect. By the way, I'm naming my new song Extertov, Tronglatov, Cartation Exorbs. Alright, count on you, Small Who Man, coming up with the, the strangest names. Honestly, I don't even know why. So there's no theme to it then. That's what I was thinking of naming my first child. Oh, that first child is going to be so blessed. Great minds think alike. Uh, nice idea so far. Yeah, hopefully it's, um, it's, it's sort of coming together. So the first one you were just collecting sheep. Second level you're going to have more combat with the mole people. You know, with questionable noses. Um, I just need to decide where I'm going to put some of them. sheets of paper, the pages. So I think yeah, you're going to get a page here, probably going to get a page there. 
and maybe I'll just give you another page there. Maybe I'll just like um, maybe I'll just copy another one of these and we'll use that. So it's like you, you definitely need to. Maybe I can put it up there. Definitely need to kill all of the all of the, the enemies. So you're not you're not just getting your hammer to go through the, the rock, you're also doing it because you know you need to you need to get the the last little sheet. Last little page. So once you go through here, there'll be like a book or something that'll ask you for like three pages, and then it'll build the rest, and then you'll climb over here. You'll sort of climb up another area, and you'll get to like a higher, a higher point. So I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm just going to leave this kind of stuff. I'm not really going to fill in all this stuff. I'm just going to leave that just now. But we've got a rough kind of idea of how. This is sort of going to, going to start. Uh, so then the next area, I'm going to totally like make the biggest possible uh, grass cookie you've ever seen. Look at that! Look at that beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I'm probably going to have to group all this as well if I want to copy it. It saves me uh, remaking it all again. But I don't care. I don't care. Let me just... I'll take everything except from the fence, I think. Do, 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 do. Oh. I think I did something wrong with the grass. <laughs> I think I stretched the wrong part. Oh God. We'll work with it. We'll just pretend this was my idea, right? To have like a little bump in the grass, right? It wasn't really. Right, so we'll put, we'll put this up here. Just another little patch. I make the area too huge, you know. So maybe like maybe that's a good distance from here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just do it from here. So I'll just copy some of the walls just to Probably fix this, it's probably like, yeah, there's something here, look. But if I delete everything, look, everything just goes like, <laughs> like that. I don't know what happened, I must have did something crazy, but oh well. We'll just go with the flow. So I'll just keep building this up, and uh, the idea is that you just need to, like, keep, uh, keep climbing. Like you start climbing, like here, and then you climb up there. It's going to take like a lot of platforming knowledge to know exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just going to like throw things around and see what's a good structure. So you climb up there, you climb up there. Imagine that's like blocked, like that. Do, 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 do. Just 
going to go with the flow here. I need to squish all these in a little bit. Okay, so I need to jump up there, jump up there. to make it easier I think I will use rocks just to sort of block your path uh, for places that I don't really want you to go <laughs> just throw that there right that totally doesn't look like it's out of place it's totally accurate so we'll place that there need to climb up that way And then I'll make another one that's like like that. So I have to jump up a bit, go across a little bit, and then maybe like near the near the end over here. Another bit that you climb up. It's going to be a pretty big wall, by the way, because we're going to have to like climb up, keep climbing, keep climbing. So climb up here, um, and then there's going to be like maybe some gaps that you need to jump across. gap like, like that or something you need to go over just try and make it quite varied so you don't just do the same thing over and over again uh, so you climb up there you jump up there then you jump here you jump across the way maybe there's like a couple of gaps that you need to jump across. Maybe that's like a double gap. Oh, messed it up at the last second. And then from here again. Just slowly try to build a tower. So I jump here, jump here, jump here, go across here, jump up here, and then I need to go left a bit, and then I can go up a bit. And I can start to put some enemies on it as well that try and um, stop you from obviously getting past them. So if I put like a put like a bee or something, especially on the, the 2D parts, and they're going to try and uh, kick the crap out of you, and then maybe just to introduce the, the, the slimes again, I'll put some slimes uh, in certain parts as well. some enemies as you climb up here. Uh, I won't make this too repetitive because if you're just jumping up all the time it, get, it may get a bit boring but if you ever played the, the Crash Bandicoot games you know the sections where you have to like climb up a wall it's gonna be something like that. Um, I'm not sure if I'll maybe put in some rocks that maybe crumble so you need to like jump over them before they break or before they fall or something like that. An RPG action platformer. It's a good combination. LBA butchering my crazy made up words is fire. Oh yeah, it's always fire. 
Uh, this scene reminds me of a level in Gex for the PS1. Really? I've only briefly played Gex. Uh, I don't know if it was the second or the third game. But I did buy them a long time ago on the PS3. I bought them to play on my PSP. But now I can play them on my Vita. I'll need to play them. But I, it's like I bought them really cheap. They were like £1 each. So I was like, why not? But I never got around to playing them yet. So I'll need to give them a, a go. Remember there was a level that was like in a haunted mansion or something? I like my collectible type of games, I just don't play them so often. Maybe like Spyro or something. Uh, hey 2 Crack 2, welcome back. Hope you're having a great week. Don't forget to add a Skybox, if it's possible. I'll definitely try. Why am I getting Mario, Crash, LVP, Zelda and Spyro, Spyro vibes from this? I guess Mario because of the colours, Crash because of the... I'm building a big wall that we need to go up vertically. LVP, I guess because it's more cartoony maybe as well. Zelda, uh, maybe some of the cartoonier Zeldas like um, Wind Waker and then Spyro just because it's the same idea, you collect things, you break things, it's a nice little world so. I assure you, I'm not like deliberately targeting these um, these franchises. I'm just going with, with the flow, with the gardens kit, and then seeing what we can come up with. Uh, Death Spiral 2. Interesting. So I'm kind of making a little Spiral game. Mm. I'm liking that. I like Spiral. Dragons, I hate dragons. All Spyro fans get this reference. Uh, it's going before and after the piece was cut out of the land. Yeah, I'll need to figure out what that is. But I might keep it actually, because maybe it's kind of nice that you have a little bit of non-flat land. Just to, it's nice to have a little bit of variety. Nice, I see what you did there. Uh, the song is stuck in my head. Which one? Hopefully you see all of them. I still got to work on my game. I learned how to make a custom puppet yesterday. I just have to actually do it. They're the, like the most complicated things to make. I'm trying to make something similar right now with the uh, survival horror game. I need to try and animate all the characters and stuff like that, which is not easy. And because uh, I need to have like a walk cycle, run cycle. Uh, depending on how much health they have, it changes. And then I need to do like an attack cycle for the enemies and a death scene cycle kind of thing. There's just so many animation combinations that I need to work out and get all the logic to sort of um, not glitch out. I'm naming my son Gnasny Nork. Oh, that's good. That would be... <laughs> we'll just see like a whole generation. This quarantine, it's like getting people really creative. And now they're... Uh, they're coming up with brand new names for their, their children, it's great. The current or the previous one, small, poor kid. Yeah. I mean, it might be a gorgeous kid with a, a, an ugly name. How funny would that be? Uh, I'm totally the best dad who keeps saying thank you for. Uh, I'm naming mine Bovaretta H. Uh, what? Crinkly Borsax the second? How do you come up with these names? That's what you should do, you should just make like an RPG with all these weird names. Uh, releasing me, yeah. Uh, real Spyro fans will know what I'm talking about. Never played Spyro myself, honestly. Oh, it's good, it's really good. It's basically like a more open version of Crash, ba Crash Bandicoot. I would totally play this, and I don't say that a lot. No, you don't like to play a lot of levels and dreams. I can, if that's what you mean, I can, I can kind of under, understand where you're coming from because, well, there's not a lot of quality stuff, you know. Um, but right now, this is like very rough, so, you know, I wouldn't expect this to be looking super great just yet. <clears throat> But once I get the gameplay in, maybe next week I'll show you a little demo. And then off stream I'm going to do more of the 
the voice acting and things like that, just so I can actually get the, the narration side of things done. And once it's all polished, once it all comes together, I think it'll look really nice. Nice little variety in things that you do as well. Uh, so what, once we get to the top of this wall, uh, we'll have another sort of section where you need to collect things. Depends on the thermal and depends on how big the level is. Because the first level it's just like two sections. This level it's like you've got one big section, then you've got another kind of big section. So once you do this, you climb here, there'll be another section here, and then there'll be a third section as you climb a little bit a little bit more. So there's uh, a lot to do in this last part. And then there's the boss battle is pretty simple. It's just one big area with like mole holes. And it's gonna be like whack-a-mole, but but with a giant mole king. Maybe you need to defeat like the small moles. And then when the big mole appears, you need to whack him on the head. Three times he's dead. That kind of thing. So let me just keep going with this. This is like the most repetitive part, because it's like I'm just trying to like flesh out um exactly what I'm doing right now. So I don't I don't even know what I'm doing to be honest. Because all of this is like cubed, so it's like it all has a structure, but I think uh, once I edit it, I'll probably mix it up a little bit and like make the, the rocks a bit more curved and smooth and things like that. Let me just pull this up there. Let's make it like a double one. Jump, jump, jump. Doesn't matter if everything doesn't line up entirely. Do you notice when I copy things, the music slows down? Severe slowdown. So we jump up here. Um, maybe I'll make this section a little more challenging, maybe. to jump across all of these sections here. And then... Try to think what I'm going to do here. So jump, jump, jump. Maybe I'll make it difficult for you. Maybe I'll make like... You need to like jump and hit them like as soon as possible. So I'll put like one of these here. Then I'll put another, another wee B. Unless I put the B at the end, but because I think the B is quite difficult. I'm going to make them like a pain, a real pain to, to defeat. And then we'll put another one of these wee guys over here. So there's going to be a lot of wee enemies that appear. So I think after this part, I think I'll... I don't want you to climb a massive cliff, so I think you'll climb one more... One more layer, I think. And then... We'll get to the... The summit. To the, we'll get to the top, I guess. Let me copy like one of the, the smaller ones. We'll start again with the grass, I think. I'll just do this. It's easier than just try to stretch it out. So I'll, I'll cut out things and 
properly shape things uh, later, once I've got everything sorted, I think. So I think that should be alright for now. So like, I'll show you, like, I can just like, cut this out a bit, you know. Big cheese wheel. So like, if I just cut a little bit, for now. make that sort of smooth. Gives you an idea what I mean, so you'll jump up and then you'll get back onto the, the surface here. And then when you get up here, I've already did a crop in this section so there won't be another crop up here. I think you'll get up here and then Maybe it's more of a maybe you can fight more of the moles, maybe. Like just in general. Let me copy some of these guys. Don't fall, no. Right, just just in case we need some of the moles, I'll put some up here. There we go. So we're for stage two. In terms of kind of like a rough design, I suppose we're like almost two thirds of the way through it. So there'll be another book up here. So we had to have collected uh, maybe there's like a secret page here. Maybe there's like a like hidden in here, there's like a little there's like a little page. Let me just take one of these. So we'll put it there. So you can't see it so easily. So there'll be a little page, you can kinda see it through the gap there. To like do the farm, we need to get a little page here. Uh, once we go up here, I guess there needs to be like a little platforming section for the another page. So I like to use my stumps for my platforming. I still love how the, the music just completely dies every time I copy things. a lot of something here and get some more of my fences back up there. Let's take one. Oh. Take one of these. So like what once I finish off all the combat and get all the, the animations done and things like that. I think I would probably say this level could be done by um, by the end of May maybe so let's say like the final Friday of May that's what I'm going to try and <clears throat> get this ready for so it shouldn't it shouldn't take me shouldn't take me too long because the combat's quite simple it's just because I want to do like some more complicated um, animations for the the enemy reactions when you, when, when you hit them and things like that so and I want to make sure I get like proper detail because I, I would love to get a an MM pick for once um, in, in dreams so that's my goal here make something that's really polished, quite charming good narrative things like that it's getting quite huge this level now, isn't it? Uh, 
Uh, not a lot of people put as much thought into the design, it's refreshing. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right, like, some people when they, they design things, they just sort of make like a big area. And then it's like, find everything, and you just run around, like, aimlessly, like, trying to find things, so... Yeah, I'm trying I'm try to, like, come up with some kind of structure. So it's not just like, I'm just not just, like, throwing things together and just being like, yeah, just jump on top of things, and there's some enemies. But once I get all this polished, I'll play test it. I'll see if it actually does flow quite well, and then I'll make some some edits if I need to. I'm naming my daughter Mister Comard da Delete de Boomer Eid. Oh God, it's even worse than the last one. Daughter. Oh God, here we go. John Kielvorieta F. Wakre McHornet Box the fourth. So you mean there was three other people with this name? How is that even possible? I'm joking, I'm not old enough to have children. You can always dream for the future, I guess. You know, keep a notepad. Weird as hell names for my future children. Uh, me neither. Uh, I'm naming my Mrs. the Mr. Good Dada. God, I'm getting so confused now. The police burst through the door. <laughs> you talking about having children? What's going on? It's against the law to name your children after such weird things. Son's name, Hungry. Hungry goes to Hungary every year on holiday. Um... Uh, Bova Rinka Drinka Obinka Shivo Vani Le Crinkly Thorn Eta Viewburger Viewburger that was just a that was a lazy last name uh, daughter's name mom oh god that's like switching the roles hey mum can you make me a sandwich but I want you to make me a sandwich no no you're 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 the mum that's the rules I'm hungry. I'm dad. <laughs> uh, I think they got into my secret stash. Oh god, yeah, smoky miss, yeah. <laughs> Not even you got this crazy. Uh, why, why did you name me this way? Because it was beautiful. It, it was on a fateful evening, I was watching a stream that had nothing to do with naming children. But suddenly we got onto the topic of some crazy names for children and, well, that's history. Oh god, you've got like a deformed face. It's almost like a fish. Also, son, why, why, why? You know, why do I need to live this life of torment? Is Isaac gonna come save the day with a witty remark about music? Nah, I think Isaac's too busy. He's too busy fawning over Great Scott in, uh, in JD Games. My son, son Thomas La Carreta de Molly Dada Cone Pop Onu. Man, it's like we should do a competition. Who can make like the weirdest names possible? I don't think it would be that impossible for you guys. You, you see me have it down here, T. Let me just copy some more of these wee. Put some more of these wee rocks around for some detalles. Maybe I can put like some trees in this area as well. We've got a couple of trees there maybe. Put some bushes here. I'll bring some of these rocks up with me. Take some of these. Take some of these. These are just for the secrets though. And let's see if we can do like a mix of the tree stumps with the rocks to create some kind of platforming area. Uh, I'm out LBA, I'll check in on you soon later man. Yeah no problem, we're probably only going to stream for like another 5-10 minutes anyway because I need to go back to work. The, the Tuesday Wednesday streams are relatively, relatively short, unfortunately. 
But don't worry, because we'll be back again tomorrow with a survival horror stream. Let's see, does it look weird if I try and combine rocks with wood? I think it might look a bit weird. Maybe if I make like a pillar section. Maybe there can be like make like a, this huge kind of pillar. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful monstrosity. keep doing it like keep making bigger and bigger tree stumps because like for some reason the trees in this game they just decide like the size they want to be <laughs> whenever you know some of them are thinner thicker I don't know that, that this is a fantasy world we, we can't really ask too many complicated questions you know we need to just accept that these uh, these trees are the size they are just because that's what they are, you know? Do, do, do. I could probably like stretch them, but if I stretch them because of those textures here, um, let me see, I'm, I don't think I can... I don't think I can. Hold on, I think, hold on. Can I stretch this without ruining the texture? Oh god, look! That's actually quite cool. That created a nice little effect. Like we could probably use that. Um, maybe there's like uh, a broken one, like uh, on the ground or something. Maybe that's good. Maybe if you you, you have to like uh, run through like a tube, you know, to get to like the other side or something. Maybe that that's a good idea. See, I'm coming up with these amazing ideas by accident. So maybe that, like, there's like a section here where you can't cross, but you can cross by going through this, um, this little wooden block as it becomes a a tube. Like, what happens if I keep going with that? Do you think I can like? I don't know if I just like move this. Hold on, hold on, we're getting there, we're getting there. Right, so there we go, we've kind of got our opening here. Let's see if I'll make it like... in this but you get the idea right oh god hold on this is why I hate that you can't actually see where everything is I'm just like I'm just experimenting just see what, what happens if I do this kind of stuff, you know? Can I copy another one of these? Maybe just to do it like... Like that, maybe? Let's see. I mean, it looks kind of funky, but... Looks alright. I mean, you could like imagine yourself like jumping through here just to get to the other side over there. I don't know what will be on the other side, mind you. If it's like a river or something, or if there's going to be like a another piece of land over here. But yeah, I'll, I'll make it so that you have to pass through here to get to another area over there. So you'll come up here, there'll be a bit that you can climb on, which will be like a, kind of like a pillar. Something like that. It's going to look a bit ugly for now, but let's just try and create something a bit different. So 
do like it branches off. Goes off on its own little tangent. And then maybe there's like there's like more of these as we as we keep going. So let me get another one of these. And then you have to jump like here to get to the the next one. And then there's gonna be more of these on the other side. Like kind of another structure. Something like this. Mm -hmm. We get the idea, right? This will be like the kind of like the idea for the area here. So you climb up here, you go there, there's some stuff here, jump here, go around here, there's some more stuff over here. There's an extra little area that you can go through here to get something. And then maybe that activates the book, which will be somewhere, which lets us climb um, some kind of other wall that takes us up to the last part of this level. So I think that's a, a good little bit of progress. We've got like a good little structure here. So we've got our, our starter area. It's a bit down here. You can find a little secret area there, a little combat area in here. Uh, you get introduced to the, the other side mission here, with the scarecrows. And then here you, you, you lose your hammer. So then you have to climb up here, go around here, avoid all the enemies. I'll put more enemies up here as well. Uh, get your hammer back. Kill them all, unlock the next page, break through here, then you've got more, another patch here to kill some more moles. Then we'll climb up, avoid some enemies, find the paper, and then once we get up here we'll have another little area where we can platform around, explore up here, go across here, and then once we get all the, the relevant items here, either the book will be here, or here and then it'll create like the last sort of uh, section for us so I think that's all right so far uh, for today so um, I'm, I'm rel relatively happy with how it's going out I think all the areas look a bit different so it's not like the same thing over and over again Uh, when you made the video sculpting hard, is it easy with motion controls? Um, are you talking about the move controllers? I've never used them. Some people say it's better, but they're hard to learn too, you know. Uh, Great Scott and JD Games, fire, you got it right. Stop calling me LBP, it's not my name. Uh, and you don't have any of their songs in any jukebox, no. They don't, they don't fit, they don't fit our themes unfortunately. Uh, trying Burger Tringa is Loon Tativa Viewburger Bitter Ship Curly H Shrivald Brossack Junior the Fourth. Whew. Oh my God, that name though. I oh know, perfect. Uh, those rocks, really rocks. Oh yeah, proper men rocks, aren't they? How about Stonehenge? <laughs> Could be Stonehenge. Yeah. Could be Stonehenge. Uh, Miss, Mr. Cousin, Nephew, Son, Daughter, Father, Mother is my name. You, you basically got all of the, all of the names, don't you? Uh, hey Young, Jeff Vlogs, welcome to the stream, hope you're doing well. We've just been making our little stage two to our platform. It's a bit messy right now, we're just sort of like piecing everything together. Uh, LB, you've just crippled that log, I know, look at the state yet. Totally drilled right through that. But it looks, it was a happy accident. I was never going to do this. But, you know, sometimes you just got to find these little accidents, you know. RIP log 2020 to whenever that was. Yeah. 
good face, good face. Right, so uh, I'm going to have to end the stream now. I'm going to have to go do some more work now. So we'll be, we'll be back tomorrow, same time. Uh, but it'll be a longer stream tomorrow. And we'll be doing more of the survival horror game. I'm going to be doing outside the hospital, in the grounds. And possibly even the, the cafeteria for the, the second building in the hospital. On Friday, normally I start the stream a little later. But this particular Friday, I'll stream at the normal time as I do every other day. So... Um, Tomorrow and Friday it'll be a normal two to three hour stream, assuming the stream doesn't cut out again because of PSN. So um, I'll, I'll maybe see some of you guys again tomorrow for that. Yeah, see you later guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're, we're making one step closer to getting this done. I think next Tuesday, Wednesday we'll finish this off and we'll also finish off the boss area. And then uh, the week after that, we can maybe start the level design for another small project. And uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys, some of you guys, uh, if you're around tomorrow for the Survivor Horror Stream. See you later. Bye.